GM wants to build its Silverado EV truck just like Tesla using a die casting system. GM invests $51 million to cast Silverado electric vehicle drive units. We're learning that, that on Tuesday, December 7, General Motors announced $51 million investment in its aluminum die casting foundry located in Bedford, Indiana. The funds will be used to install new equipment at the Indiana facility to produce drive unit casting for the upcoming Chevrolet Silverado electric pickup truck. GM says, our Bedford operation is one of the leading aluminum die casting facilities in the world. And this investment is a testament of our confidence in the employees at Bedford. This investment is another example of the company bringing along our workforce in our journey to an all electric future while we strengthen our current products, said Phil Kleinlel, GM Vice President of North America Manufacturing and Labor Relations. The legacy OEM plans to start renovations at Bedford Casting Operations immediately, reports Tesla Radi. The Chevrolet Silverado EV is expected to debut next month. General Motors seems eager to start production on the Silverado EV as soon as possible. The Silverado EV isn't the only GM vehicle receiving die-cast parts from Bedford. According to local The Detroit News, the die-cast plant has already produced electric drive unit castings for the 2022 GMC Hummer EV pickup and the 2024 Hummer SUV. Friends, GM is expected to start producing the Hummer EV truck at its Zero Detroit Hummer tr um, Hum Trunk Assembly Center this month. The Chevrolet Silverado EV will be made at the same facility. The Silverado EV will debut on January 5, 2022 at the Consumer Electronics Show. GM has kept most information about the C Silverado EV under wraps Apart from some minor details, the Chevy pickup will be powered by GM's own Ultium platform, Ultium battery, which features modular batteries and drive unit combinations. I think this is very interesting development, friends, because it um, uh, looks like uh, Tesla succeeded with die casting and other companies are now using also die casting. I personally wish GM well, although what I get is that their battery pack will be delivered nine months to a year before, the open, before they open their battery research and innovation center, which can't come soon enough because uh, as Des Shinnick writes under Tesla Radi's article commenting says GM think a modular uh, st uh, skateboard with different battery modules and engine modules is innovative innovative enough to get a special name to let people know they are the most advanced EV company Volkswagen running this system and producing cars already and others doing similar should not be counted GM innovation is basically copying what's already been done he says or is being done and then announcing it as new uh, and he says to me the GM uh, emperor has no clothes but as some well uh, some will tell you they have the best clothes they lead the way and Mary you uh, you did this uh, he says well I don't know about this I wouldn't be negative on GM I certainly uh, sincerely uh, wish GM well and I'm glad that they're looking at electric future I think this is positive development by GM and I applaud them. Well, friends, have a wonderful day. God bless you, everyone. Let's move on to our next story. Yesterday, surfing the internet, I just saw two Tesla semi mega chargers are now live at Giga Nevada. Sawyer Merritt, who regularly provides good Tesla news and information, shared these breaking images. In the past, he has given me permission to use them, so I'm sharing them with you. He says a source has sent me some photos of the mega chargers at Tesla Giga Nevada factory there appear to be two working stars at the moment tesla giga nevada semi mega chargers are live friends that's a big news because that tells us that tesla
Tesla is becoming more serious bringing the semi trucks in the production. So based on recent reports and pictures from the factory, we see that these new mega chargers are live. Tesla appears to have started expanding the parking lot at Giga Nevada as well. Maria Merano reports from Tesla Radi saying construction at the Tesla semi mega chargers, which appear to be larger versions of the company's urban superchargers with thicker cables, was reported back in October, shortly after Giga Nevada started constructing semi mega chargers. PepsiCo CEO Raymond LaGuarta stated that the popular soda pop company was expecting to receive its first Tesla semis in quarter four. Pepsi said it was expecting to receive 15 Tesla semis earlier this year. Now, Sawyer Merritt shared this picture saying a source has sent him some photos of the mega chargers at Tesla Giga Nevada factory, and there appears to be two working stalls at the moment. That means Tesla need them. So now here's what actually PepsiCo CEO said. He said, actually, transportation is about 10% of our overall gas gas emissions so it's important and we're working on different solutions we replace our fleet regularly every 10 years more or less that's the life of a truck we're already starting to buy electric trucks actually from tesla i don't want to promote anybody but that's the brand that we're using so far and we're getting our first delivers in quarter four so it's something we started a few years ago we are working with tesla the pepsico ceo said now at the moment i don't remember if tesla pepsico already has tesla mega chargers installed so they can charge their um pepsi uh, their pepsico tesla semi trucks tesla giga nevada will be producing the company's class 8 semi trucks tesla Tesla started posting, actually posing jobs for semi-production at Giga Nevada last December. There is currently one job in Sparks Nevada listed for the semi. Tesla is hiring a mechanical design engineer who can help develop the batteries for the vehicle. The roller and responsibility, the roles actually and responsibilities of the mechanical design engineer include full product design responsibility, three design of complex parts, advancing products, developing new technologies, and so on. As hinted by the recent updates from Giga Nevada, Tesla may start some production of the semi in 2022 at the 2021 shareholder meeting. Elon Musk noted that Tesla aims to expand Giga Nevada and Giga Fremont by 50%. The semi mega chargers and parking lot expansion may be the first phases of Giga Nevada's future growth, says Maria Merano from Tesla Radi. Now, um, uh, I think it would be great if we have more pictures. Maybe if you guys are in the area, maybe someone can take a photo and uh, so we can see the label of these stations. We must know the capabilities are the plug um, and the plug to see the plug would be uh, fantastic and interesting to see. Well, friends, let me know what you think about all these things that uh, the new Tesla Semi uh, superchargers. So do you think Tesla Semi deliveries are close and when they will be? This is Armin Harry from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news god bless you everyone peace be with all of you give us thumbs up please for this report and let's move on to our next tesla there is story. a secret about tesla's next battery gigafactory and i want you to know it and the secret is that tesla factory could make quebec in canada a global battery hub welcome back friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com charles morris has published a very interesting story in evanex.com saying speculation can continually buzzes around the world about the possible location of Tesla's next gigafactories. Why not Quebec, the Can Canadian province? is arguably an ideal location for large-scale battery production and its government has enacted a number of EV-friendly measures. Quebec is rich in critical battery metals and has plenty of cheap and clean hydropower. The provincial government is heavily incentivizing the extraction of key minerals such as lithium, nickel and graphite and recently announced plans to invest up to look at this 3 billion Canadian dollars in battery production. That's 2.4 billion dollars in US dollars in battery
battery production. Now, uh, Lion Electric has planning, actually is planning to build a five gigawatt hour battery factory in Quebec and companies including Namaska Lithium and Nouveau Monde Graphite have launched products to produce and refine graphite and lithium. Now, Electric reports that uh, the Quebec government is in talks with Tesla about possibly establishing battery production in the province. And this is the secret. Tesla has already indirectly invested in Quebec's lithium resources through a deal with Piedmont Lithium, which is involved with a lithium project in Quebec, uh, Quebec's um, ABTB region. Quebec Economy Minister Pierre Fitchbone met with Tesla executives during a mission in California last month, said a spokesperson. They discussed Quebec's place in Tesla's supply chain. That was a quote. The journal de Montreal uh, Le Journal de Montreal reported that talks have been moving forward over the last few months. That was a quote too. So is Tesla just looking for lithium or might Quebec be the site of the next Gigafactory? No details are on offer at this point, but I would like to hear what you think about this new kind of secret. Remember, Tesla factory, based on all of this, could make Quebec a global battery hub. So will Tesla build its next gigafactory to build 4680 batteries in Quebec? Let me know your thoughts, friends. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. Please visit us on our website, uh, ring the bell so you don't miss our uh, my next coverage. And also please uh, give us thumbs up if you like this report. Have a great day. Peace be with all of you. God bless you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.